Oh, right, this is a bit bleak. I'm dining in some cattle. What um, we got in some old sheds where the water pipes on top of the ground, so we're gonna get a bit of freezing water trough behavior down there. It's snowing bad now, but I think it's meant to stop like midday, so it's not too bad. If we do, if these troughs are froze up, they're quite small troughs for a lot of animals, so we should keep it running. They do freeze up though. We're gonna put some rotten muck on it. All right, these ones are all right. This one's actually running. So all right, he's froze up in the night, but he's moving. So he comes straight out of the ground. These are all our cars from last year. Young calves, they're in some like old tin sheds. Sometimes we're out wintering, but we brought them in this year because that out wintering job, you know, it's alright if you do it. But it's shifting fences all the time and that. It's getting people to go out and shift the fences, especially in weather like this. So, um, we just brought them in. So we had the grub. There's a tractor, he's up on a, a, this is on the spring unit, this is the spring unit tractor. 115 G115 smart tractor is right ideal this water trough is water trough or some pipes above the ground makeshift water trough to get going so he's um he's running what's good got a couple racks for the hay for these heifers these are the heifers you have a lot with bulls well we can't get rid of them at the moment because I don't want to buy them because they're crossbred bulls so we're going to rear them in the spring and see how we get on this is the heifers here so these will be going to bull in March uh, May, I mean, first of May, we put the balls in with these. We've got 90 here, so we've got plenty. We've always got plenty of heifers for some reason. I don't know what it's all about. I don't know if Crossroads chuck in more heifers or what, but we've seen how plenty of heifers all the time. This is out in a field where we were going to out winter. And see, this is our like GS4 mix out here. We've got a lot of grass out here. We could get them going early in the spring. Now they're in, they'll probably stay in. Well, it's nice to have all this grass out here. Look at this. Loads of air. Look at my feet. Absolutely loads of out here. Got chicory in it. It's got like four or five different species of grass. Herbs. It's absolutely loads of grass out here, actually. Gonna have a good uh, spring. We've got like an early turnout on this because this grain is dry. It's dry. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a weather. Weather like this is alright for them when it's cold and wet that's the worst freezing cold and wet or freezing fog because there's no cover up here we're so high up i said in my last video it was 600 meters so actually 600 foot but look there's not many trees about well exposed up on like old arable grain so we've got um not much cover for them heifers again here getting quite big now you've got a variety of all sorts here all crossbred, got a lot of jersey in, but we're trying to get them all black and white. We're trying to get them black and white, we've got a lot of red ones coming out this year. They've been out since four weeks old, and they've just come in now. So we'll get them used to the sheds. Get them on the hay, and we give them a little bit of cake at the moment, just to push them on and get them, try to get them to grow fast. It's looking pretty white out here. This farm here is part of the spring unit. It's about three, three miles down the road. But we're on the side, on the spring unit, that's the farm where we get the cows across the road. And we're on the side of the main road, so we've got no trouble getting a milk tanker in. If a milk tanker can't come to us, it can't come to no one. But back at home, you've got to drive around some lanes, and that's when the tankers start to get a bit sketchy. But the milk tanker is coming at seven o'clock in the morning at the moment, so we are first run. So hopefully, if the snow continues, they drive on the soft snow and be all right. It's when they come halfway through the day. I find the night drivers, they, they, they get a little bit easier than day drivers. As soon as that snow plow comes on, it starts pushing snow out of the way. That's when it starts to get a bit sketchy, especially with an Arctic tanker. Right, I've gone on back. All the cattle all right everywhere. I've been around everything. They're all looking pretty good. It's got to make sure the power don't freeze up. Because he's well exposed, I'm gonna go and shake some more water out of it, and then we should be um, should be sorted. Right, so that parlor the other day, the spring unit parlor is a lot open, more open, colder. That's why we've got to shake all the water out because when it oysters up. This is the oil rank avenue, and this is the tank room, and this is the parlor here. So what we've got here, GA Tennessee 2020. We've got heaters 
all up in the roofs. So we've got one there, one at the back, one down there. Very nice and warm because everywhere red uh, touches, it puts heat on. So I'll just turn the lights off. So now the lights are off, we've got red everywhere. Wherever the red touches, it won't freeze up. But to be honest, we've got doors at the back and whatnot. Right back there, we've got doors. There, keep them shut, and we're all right. This part is like, it takes longer, and in the summer it's a little bit hotter, but this time of year is always ill. I'd rather stand in here, got the rubber flooring too, here. Rubber flooring on the floor too, so it's uh, easier going. But you are in here three hours, so in the other part is an hour, hour and a half, at the longest, two hours in the spring. So it's dropping now, I'd rather have one in the summer, this one in the winter. Okay, so Sunday afternoon, and Sunday afternoons I'm usually on the spring unit building, but this afternoon is different. I'm up on the autumn unit, and I've got to put some sawdust in first. We just swept out the cubicles and drew the cows rain, and Tom the milk is milking. Usually put it in with that, but it's snowing quite heavy, and I've got a sand dispenser up here, so I thought I'd put it in with that today. Snow has stopped in, it's warmed up a little bit, but um, yeah, I think I'll do it with a tractor instead. That is the G125. He's like the 115 I showed you earlier on the spring unit, but he's a little bit more higher spec. He's got the uh, auto steer and whatnot linked up to it. So he's a nice tidy tractor he is. So I'm gonna put some sawdust in and I'm gonna lay him up so we ain't got to do it tomorrow. All right, here we go. Sawdust is rape dust. Quite tight gun anyway. A lot faster than sand, that's for sure. All right, that's one load done. Sand sawdust pit here. So I think sawdust mixed with rape dust. Pretty sure we've got it on rape. It doesn't look like it looks like it's got straw on it. Chocolate straw. Go, I'm just going to case back in. Right, so um, 860 70 been milled. This is the uh, sawdust in the cubicles now. Cows here coming in, in the first shed, a bit like on the oil your rank ham unit. They go into one shed first until we've milked a few and then they go into the rest. So they're walking on in. I'm going to push the silage up in a minute because have done all the feeding in the daytime. This is like rape straw, really ground up, really fine, quite dusty stuff. But on um, mattresses too, so they've got that to sit on night. Nice fresh bed in there. If we ever have uh, bat scans, then we'll put lime in with it, but um, touch, good, touch wood. It's all pretty good at the moment. Across the board's pretty good actually. If you have like a warmish west winter, it can be a pain in the ass. There we go. Let's cross all of the shed. Four passages on this barn instead of three. On your your own cabin unit, sand in the cubicles, three passageways, but longer and deeper. On this barn, a bit more short, a bit shorter. I think it's an extra 20 foot short. And then you've got four passages in an extra shed. But a similar sort of shed.